Clavicle. The clavicle is also known as the collarbone and is a long bone. It lies in front of the root of the neck and takes part in formation of the shoulder girdle. It is a subcutaneous bone and is the only long bone in the body that lies horizontally. The peculiarity of this bone is that it has no medullary cavity. It is the first bone to start ossification by the fifth to sixth week of intrauterine life and the last to complete ossification by 21 to 25 years. It is the only long bone which ossifies by two primary centers. It has the following functions. It prevents drooping of the shoulder, keeps the arm away from the trunk which allows it to swing freely without coming in contact with the trunk, transmits weight from the upper limb to the trunk, and assists in movement of the arm above the level of the shoulder. The clavicle consists of the shaft, a chromial end, and the sternal end. The shaft is divided into the lateral one-third and medial two-thirds. The lateral one-third presents with two surfaces and two borders. The superior surface is subcutaneous and the inferior surface is rough and has the conoid tubercle which lies close to the posterior border and gives attachment to the conoid part of the coracoclavicular ligament. The trapezoid line, which is an oblique ridge which runs forwards and laterally towards the acromial end and gives attachment to the trapezoid part of the coracoclavicular ligament. Now coming to the anterior border. It is concave and bears the deltoid tubercle. The posterior border is convex. The medial two-thirds presents with four surfaces. The anterior surface is rough and convex. The upper surface. The posterior surface is smooth and concave. And the inferior surface presents with the costal impression that gives attachment to the costoclavicular ligament and the subclavian groove. Clavipectoral fascia is attached to the margins of the subclavian groove. The nutrient foramen is directed laterally and is present on the lateral part of the subclavian groove. Acromial end. This end is flat and has an oval facet which articulates with the clavicular facet on the acromion process of the scapula, the margins of which gives attachment to the capsular ligament of the acromioclavicular joint. The sternal end is quadrangular and it articulates with the clavicular notch of the manubrium sterni. The upper part gives attachment to the interclavicular ligament, capsular ligament of the sternoclavicular joint, and articular disc of the sternoclavicular joint.